I got emailed a couple of questions and I thought I'd put a shout out and see if there's uh, anything else you guys wanted to know. So uh, I've got a few here. Without further ado, here we go. So the first question is from Raghavendra in India asking, who inspired you to have the beautiful skill of guitar? That's a beautiful question, word for word. Um, it was my father. My dad, he always played when uh, I was young. Uh, I always enjoyed hearing him play rock and roll classics from the 50s, 60s. And when I was nine years old, there was a guitar under my Christmas tree. So my parents encouraged me to uh, get lessons. And uh, I mean, I didn't care for it too much. You know, I was young, uh, you know, but I got the grades and I started with songwriting when I was 13 years old. And that's when I really, really got into it. So uh, I'm really happy that my parents stuck with me with that encouraged me and here I am. Okay, question from Paul in Portugal of Concept Music Agency asking, what is your favorite piece you've learned? Uh, I actually have two uh, because one's on the classical side and one's on the, the rock side, the rock and pop side. So uh, my favorite classical piece, because I love flamenco music, it's the Malagueña by uh, Daniel Fortea, his version. Really, really fun to play. <laughs> As for song, I think I'm going to go with, and this keeps changing, but for now I'm going to go with Babe, I'm Gonna Leave You by Led Zeppelin. It's a super fun piece to play and it sounds beautiful as well. Catherine, also from Portugal, also from Concept Music, asks, what's your favourite type of chocolate? Uh, for those that don't know, I'm a massive chocoholic. I absolutely love the stuff. But my favourite has to be anything dark with hazelnut. So nothing above 70%. That just gets a bit too bitter. But 60, 70, you'll win me over if you give me some of that stuff, I'm telling you. I can be bribed. Joe from England, how are you doing mate? Uh, long time no see, and here is your question, this is awkward, why have I not seen you since Slipknot? Slipknot was 2020 when we went to see them, and that was January, we had lockdown a couple of months later, and then I was trying to sort out what the hell I was doing with myself, uh, all the events, all the music was put on hold, and it was a real, real difficult time for us all, so... Um, we, I put the makeup EP out and then when things started to open up again, more so last year, it was a lot of gigs. So uh, I know, I know I'm full of excuses, etc. Uh, I know we've been in touch and stuff, but yeah, we need to sort something out. That's for sure. That goes for everyone who hasn't seen anyone in a while. Um, you know, really important to see your friends and family. Real, real important. So, uh, but yeah, I feel like I've been called out WWE style here. So uh, forgive me for all that. Uh, I will drop you a message and we will see each other again soon. You have my word for that. Okay, so that's it. If you guys have any more questions, give me a shout here and I'll try my best to answer them. I'm going to put some more stuff out uh, from next week, which will be more music related, showing you a few tricks, a few songwriting things and stuff like that. So yeah, stay tuned and stay well.